diesels won't start in the freaking winter. Pieces of shit. Even mine barely wanted to start. Duly update, it's dead. Dead Fred. We've had like minus minus temperatures here in the old Hebes. It's on jack stands. So that doesn't help the situation. On jack stands, the new the new setup for it should be done Monday. We've been running around trying to find someone who can help us out with that. But it should we should hopefully have it back up on wheels and tires come next week. So you guys should see that next week. But we're going to see if the old pig here won't start. Let it charge. I should go into high idle in a minute. We'll let her charge up for a minute. Where's the exhaust at? Just, yeah, there it goes. High idle. Certified shit box. That's all we buy around here. Take two. My, it's only been freaking charging for 30 seconds. <laughs> It's the, it's the lot this the wiring for the but somehow whenever he extended the I don't know where exactly it bolts up, but I'm gonna have to clean that up once we pull the bed off. Look, it looks like it has or shouldn't it be up in oh, here? No, that's the mount. Like it should be up in here. Right, like it should be well, I don't know. we'll just clean it up once we get back in there. Yummy yummy. Dirty. Once we get the ice. old yeah. Once we get the old uh, first gen done, we'll pull the old dually in, and we'll probably take the bed off and see what's going on underneath here. See what kind of, because this looks all bolt on, like bag yeah. brackets bolt on. This whole axle piece is bolt on. So we're gonna hopefully see if we can't get some bags that allow us to go up higher, and then just try to clean up anything else up under here under the bed and whatnot. Maybe powder coat the bars, depending on what bag height we can get and if you can actually see this stuff, but probably won't be worth it. But the plan is to hopefully get some bags for it, change up the exhaust so that it comes out over is here. Is that the other battery? Yeah. Figure out what's going on with that battery and whatnot. Clean up what we can, but take, take threat. Yeah, she going to fire this time. <laughs> Shot of Visa. <laughs> She'll fire. She's close. It's just she hasn't been started in a week, and it's been negative temperatures. And core update. Uh, he got issued his papers, so court dates for sure gonna happen March 29th. So, but you keep you guys posted on what happens there. Justice will, be Justice served. will be served. Duramax. Duramax being saved by the Cummins per usual. Then once we get this started, we'll 
work on the first shin. Get the powder coated stuff taken off. Take four. gas and diesel engines <laughs> and it's got upper cylinder lubricant in case you need your cylinders lubed can't go wrong with some extra lube big seven four five i don't freaking know That's done. We're going to get to working on that rig. stuff is off um, it's actually already sent out on its way to powder I already picked out a color so we're good there everything got taken off uh, she's looking one step forward two steps back but figured while I'm in here might as well change stuff up once a year or whatnot I'm sure we'll be back in here next winter who knows how long the old 12 hour will last but today I don't have anything I don't have too much going on today because fast is still a week out or it's supposed to show up this week. We still don't have it. And I don't want to order fittings until the fast is here because then I can just order all my fittings and be done. So um, we're going to try and get battery stuff done today. I know nothing too crazy. Not a too long of a vlog today, but 
We're just gonna knock out some of this battery stuff so I can get this stuff all wrapped up. I'm gonna just try to get the, the little stuff knocked out while I'm waiting for the bigger stuff to show up that way. I don't, I don't have to wait on all the little stuff. But all that stuff's off, off the powder. Color, the new color is sweet. But we're gonna get into battery stuff. Just a little time lapse of some battery work and then I'll catch up with you guys at the end and we'll wrap up and then go from there. Batteries turned out positive to positive, negative, negative, grounds out to the frame, and this goes to the shutoff switch, which is in the fuel door. So if you turn this, it'd be live and send power to the front, but took a little bit longer than expected. Probably it'll be a shorter vlog today anyway, but for you guys it seemed short, but it was quite the process um we got battery stuff done swing under here so there's the grommeted comes out zip tied tie into the frame nice clean and then all the powers up to the shutoff switch so and then we ran our alternator wire and that is the pat that's the starter wire and the alternator wire or no, starter wire and accessory wire. They run up front, but then they're grommeted, tied into the bed, and they run up to power out. So that's all cleaned up. Um, we got the trans fan with the connector grounded out right here on the frame, and then the power is ran with its AM lines to the front. And we got all of our lines nice and zip tied up here. So, just trying to make everything as clean as we can while we're here. Do it once and just do it once and just do it right. So these look pretty freaking sweet. I like how we routed them. But other than that, we have. We don't have, I don't have two, I'm just trying to knock out all the little tedious stuff, which isn't anything too exciting for you guys. So I'm not trying to bore you guys with too much of the little stuff. Obviously we're waiting now for powder coat. So once powder gets here, we'll be able to slap all that stuff on. And hopefully my fast shows up this week. So then that way I can order all the fittings. I don't want to order all the fittings quite yet. 
just so I can do one more order because the main thing that's holding me up is um, the fast comes with an injector return T. Well, all my fittings are AM line, so I'm trying to wait till this shows up so I know what NPT thread this is so that I can get my AN adapters ordered and then I can get everything else ordered for the fuel system, all the return line stuff, um, the ANs for the breather out to the catch can, which will be like right here on the firewall. Or, yeah. So, I mean, hopefully the fast gets here and then that way I know what fittings I need just because that's all I'm waiting on is just the two injector fittings for the T. We'll get that going, but once powder gets here, it's sweet. It's a sweet color. Um, we're coming along. Our gauges are ordered. Um, they're going to be a minute just because auto meter takes a minute, but then that way we'll be able to run everything in the harness and be able to push it out where in its respective parts so that everything is nice and tucked behind this lip come this summer and you won't really see much wires coming out of over there. So, but got a good little bit, just a little tedious stuff. Nothing too exciting. We'll get to the fun stuff, promise. But with that being said, that's where I'm gonna wrap up. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.